Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for watching The Nico Show. Today's video is a game sense tutorial that I call playing to win the game. You play to win the game. It's a Valorant tutorial on situational awareness and it is designed to help your decision making process overall. I'm going to be showing you in-game scenarios of my friends and I playing and I'll be analyzing what went right and what went wrong and what we could have done differently to impact the round. Hopefully these practical examples will help you better understand why things are happening in the game and help your overall game sense. The first example I'm going to use is of my friends Vile and Steve. By the way, you're doing it wrong if you don't follow Vile already, so go do that. Do it now. So in any situation, to understand what the correct action should have been, we have to look at all the details that make up the scenario that they're in. So the clip starts with 16 seconds left in the round. The defending team is in an advantageous two versus one scenario with the bomb down in their possession. Jet has no smoke utility remaining and both players at the start of the clip are behind cover and in a position to fall back if the enemy pushes. In this scenario, your biggest advantage is time. While it's true that you have a two versus one advantage, nobody can extend the timer to make the round longer, but someone can win a 1v2 fight if they make a play. So by this logic, playing the clock and avoiding the enemy is your best option, especially when you add in the fact that the enemy had no time to walk and was giving away his position because of his footsteps. Let's watch the clip so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Yep, yeah, he's main, he's main, he's main. He, he jumped left. He doesn't have the spike. Though. He does not have spike, I don't Ten think. Seconds yep, left. He's not, he doesn't have spike. So already at this point, we have one person playing this correctly and one person playing this incorrectly. Vile is falling back, knowing that there is only 8 seconds left on the clock at this point. He knows that the enemy does not have time to pick up the bomb, get onto site, and plant it. So the only way for the enemy team to win is if he dies, and so does Steve. Steve, on the other hand, starts pushing the enemy. He puts himself in a position where he can't get behind cover and he can't stay alive, trying to challenge when he shouldn't have. No just, time, just hold. Just, just hold. He's coming out. No, 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 I need help here. Crossfire, crossfire, crossfire! I got you. So at this point, Steve calls for a crossfire, and Vile moves up in position. This is actually a mistake. What really should have happened here is Vile should have bailed and retreated from sight, but since he was trying to react off of the call from his teammate, he ends up making the incorrect move instead of falling back and going to safety. If Omen had read Vile and knew that he was going to be trying to paint the left side, he could have pre-aimed that and killed him and won the round. The only way he was going to win. Just don't push, don't push, you have the round. Me. Going for the kill here might seem like the right play, but in actuality the enemy team already had a good enough economy to buy next round, and the defending team needed more money even after winning this round. So they really probably should have saved the gun. Omen didn't know his position, so he could have easily walked and not been found and, and made it to the next round. So this is how to play your time advantage. If you ever have an instance like this where the bomb is down, you're in possession, and you have the advantage, Make sure you keep it. Don't ever do anything that gives the advantage back to the other team. If you have a 2v1, do everything you can not to make it a 1v1. If the bomb is down and they need to plant it, make sure you force them to do that and make them win the round that way. Taking an aim duel and winning that way is not the right move. So in this next clip, I'm going to show you another example of playing to your advantage. But this time, the advantage isn't time, the advantage is my position, and more importantly, the unawareness of my position from the other team. So I'm going to let this clip play out, and then we'll go over exactly what I did to win this round. One enemy remaining. Clutch. Let's you fucking go, dude. So let's start like we broke down the first clip. The situation to begin with is actually a 4v4 with the bomb planted and we are on the defending side. So from my spy camera I can see that two of my teammates die turning it into a 2v4 and the enemy still isn't aware of my position. At this point I tag the enemy sage with my cypher camera so I know where one of the three enemies is. Ended. At this moment, I know where all three of the remaining enemies are. The Phoenix has just run across my screen and doesn't know that I'm here. The Sage has just been pinged to my right hand side and I know that she's sitting next to the box and the Rays, m a moment before, just started defusing the bomb. The decision that I make right here is what allows me to win the round. 
Instead of shooting the phoenix where I'm standing, I make sure that I move up before I do so. I need to be in position after shooting the phoenix to take the next kill. Had I taken the shot while I was still back here, I would have given away my position, therefore giving away any advantage I had left in the 1v3 situation. Sometimes it's better not to make a move until you have all the information you need to win the round. And more importantly, you should always be pressing any advantage you have. In this situation, I held on to the advantage of being hidden until the very last second so that I could win the round. So that does it for this Valorant tutorial. I really hope it helped you guys out. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to answer any of them that you guys have. Uh, otherwise, take it easy and I hope you have a good rest of your day.